Most people take good care of their positions so they, possessions rather, so they could last forever. Hence, China really has no rightful claim on the West Philippine Sea because if it did, it would have taken great care and effort to protect and sustain the priceless coral reefs and marine life in the West Philippine Sea. Our Clay Pardilia has more on the widespread damage visited by China on the West Philippine Sea's marine resources and coral reefs. The blatant construction of infrastructure, the destruction of corals, the seizure of big clams, and other illegal activities have already damaged 12,000 hectares of the West Philippine Sea, according to the Climate Change Commission of the Philippines. More than 8,000 of which is attributable to the activities of China. And also with activities of Vietnam specifically, ang Pilipinas po ho ay wala pa ho siguro doon sa uh, isang libo or even 500 hectares of which. In so far as the cost, really, unimaginable, irreparable. If China's intrusion persists, the Commission warned the current damage in the West Philippine Sea will further result in greater ruin and threaten food security. One-third of the marine, marine biodiversity of the Philippines is located in the West Philippine Sea. And that is why one-third of our food security, so far as marine uh, food is concerned, ay nandiyan sa West Philippine Sea. Ito po yung pangit lugan ng mga isda. Dito lumalaki yung mga isda. At yung mga isdang yan na hindi naman mananatili lang sa Pilipinas. Yan ay tutungo sa buong rehiyon. Kapag dinurog natin yan at winasak natin, hindi lamang ang Pilipinas ang magkakaroon ng problema, kung hindi ang buong rehiyon o ang buong mundo. Last Monday, residents from Pagasa Island were alarmed by a Chinese Coast Guard ship drawing near the island where fishermen usually pass. Bali, yung Chinese Coast Guard ay dumaan ito malapit sa harap ng barangay. Sir, gano'n po kalapit? Uh, mga isang milya lang. Yan po yung uh, dinadaanan namin nag-alipat sa kabilang baura. Uh, bali, napakadilikado po sa mga kasama namin mga, mga, mga mangingisda kasi uh, diyan kami tumatawid. We received the report. We're still validating uh, because those are just uh, statements coming from the locals of Pag-aasa. Uh, but definitely the Philippine Coast Guard together with the Armed Forces of the Philippines will um, make a report on this and then submit this to the National Task Force West Philippine Sea. Um, and then it's for the Department of Foreign Affairs to take action on this. According to Tariela, the Philippine Coast Guard is using an advanced satellite to intensify the monitoring activities in the West Philippine Sea. Despite the China's blatant claim of our territory, the PCG alongside other government agencies will continue to stand up to assert the country's rights in the West Philippine Sea. Similar to the transparency campaign launched by the PCG that has been a huge success. The agency invites media practitioners in the resupply mission, maritime patrols, and other operations in the West Philippine Sea to enlighten the Filipinos and the world of the actual status in our territory following the directives of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Every time we publicize the illegal presence of the Chinese maritime militia that are swarming within our exclusive economic zone, the Chinese government, a few days after it's publicized, they will eventually leave. Based on the recent survey, more Filipinos now are aware of what's happening in the West Philippine Sea. And more than 80% Filipinos are supportive with our efforts in uh, responding to China threat in the West Philippine Sea. More countries are extending security cooperation. More countries are uh, pledging their support for the modernization of the armed forces of the Philippines and even the capability building of the Philippine Coast Guard. Again, that second objective was also attained. The PCG once again emphasized there is no need to resort to violence to assert our rights in the West Philippine Sea, which is part of the exclusive economic zone of the country. The agency vowed to respect the maritime safety and international law. As per the 2016 arbitral ruling, the Philippines has sovereign rights in the West Philippine Sea. Following China's misinformation about the West Philippine Sea, the PCG encourages to keep fight against fake news and insist the West Philippine Sea is Philippine territory. Kalei Zelpardilia for the new and better Philippines.